In this tutorial we're going to look at decimal places as significant figures and and rounding numbers. Rounding numbers can be very useful when you've got say a non-recurring decimal or um, a very long recurring decimal or a number which just you, you want to make a more manageable sum to compare with other numbers. So let's start off with decimal places. Say you've got the number 3.16 Eight five four six one, and say you and say that's the answer to your question, and the question asks you to give your answer to four decimal places. What we do then is we go is is we look, and after decimal point we count four numbers. That's one, two, three, four. So that's the last number here, 5 is the last number displayed. But we need to see whether we need to round this off. If this next number here, 4, was 5 or more, we'd move that 5 to 6. But since it's below 5, we leave it as it is. So our answer would be 3.16852. Four decimal places. Now, say we were asked to round it to three decimal places, we'd be looking at this number here, the 8. That's the third number after the decimal point. Now, the number after the 8 is a 5, which is 5 or more. So we change the 8 one unit higher. So that would give 3.16923. Decimal places. Okay, now let's go for another example. Say we get something like 1.695413, and we're asked for the answer to three decimal places. So the number here that we're concerned with is the 5 and the 4. So we'd the four is above sorry, it's below five, so we leave the five as it is. So that would be one point six nine five two three decimal places. Now, this is where the fun begins. If we're asked for this to two decimal places the numbers that we're concerned with is the 9 and the 5. The 5 is 5 or more, so we need to move the 9 up 1. But then we get 10. So that that d does that mean one that moves it to 1.610? But that's less. So we do something else. We move the next unit along as well. So we'd get 1.7 zero to two decimal places so basically what you've done is it's important to put that zero in because you've up you've been asked to put it to two decimal places so you need to display the answer to two decimal places even if it is a zero because it's showing you the the uh, the precision of your answer okay so when you have to round up a line you add one to the next unit over and then obviously it's a zero so basically you're adding a 10 here so that 5 makes that that 9 a 10 but we can't display a 10 there so that one moves that 6 up one unit okay now we can look at significant figures those all decimal places significant figures is slightly different but the principle of rounding is the same so say we were given the number uh, or the answer to a question was uh, five six nine four zero, and we're asked for the answer to two significant figures. So we'd look for the first two numbers, uh, which is the five and the six, and then we'd look at the next one along to round it. So here nine is above five, or five or more. So we'd add one to the six. So that'll make that five. 7 and we mustn't forget the zeros because otherwise it's 57 not 57,000 
Okay, so that is to two significant figures. Now, I forgot to mention, whenever you're giving your answer to any significant figures or decimal places, whether you ask for those significant figures or decimal places, or whether you're doing them out of good practice, the standard notation to show how many significant figures or decimal places you're doing it to is to the number of how many decimal places or significant figures, and then DP for decimal places or significant figures for significant figures. Um, and, and that's good practice just to show whoever's looking at your work to what precision your answer is to. So, now, another decimal place example. Say you're given 0 0.001468 and you want that to two significant figures. We don't go 0, 0.0 because when it comes to significant figures, you only start counting when you get to the first non-zero number. The first non-zero number here is 1, so you start counting at 1. So that will be 0 0.00, then the two significant figures will be 1. You round the 4 up, so it will be 1, 5 to 2, S, F. So to do two significant figures. On the other hand, if you get something like this, 0 0.0105, that, and you want it to, uh, say, three significant figures, you'd get 0 0.011. Okay, you, you, you include that zero. Or if that was a four, then that would be, um, that would make that... 0 0.010 to 3 sorry to 2 significant figures even okay I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful please like subscribe and comment